Thank you for watching this demonstration video for the Teen Coder Android Programming course. In just a couple of minutes, you'll understand the sorts of things that your student can accomplish. All of our courses come with self-study student textbooks. These are designed to make students really enjoy their computer experience. Students will use their textbooks and a computer to complete hands-on activities in each chapter. All activities can be performed in an Android emulator program, so an Android device is not necessary to complete the course. Don't have computer experience yourself? No problem. We have solution guides that will give you everything you need to assist your student as they work throughout the course. Our solution guides contain chapter notes, tests, answer keys, and complete solutions for all of the student activities. Worried that Android programming might be a little bit too hard for your student? Just watch as we create a simple Android program in just a few seconds. So here you can see we have the Eclipse software open on the screen. This is again the free software that your student will use just like they did in the Java course and this time we're going to be creating Android projects. So I've opened an Android project and what you see on the screen is what you get by default, this is already created for you. We're going to add a couple lines of code and show you how easy it is to create a simple Android program. So I'm going to create a variable name called current time and I'm going to use the Java calendar object to get the current time from this computer and that's going to look something like this. We're going to take the calendar's hour and we're going to add on a semicolon and then we're going to just add on the minutes. So now we have the time from the computer and now we can output it to the screen. So we're going to first need to get a reference to a text view control that's on our Android screen. We're just going to call that TV and we're just going to find it on the screen. And we know that its ID value is text view one. So now we have a handle to our text view control and now we can just set the text. So we're going to use set text and we're going to say the time is now and then we're going to add on our current time. We end with a semicolon just like we do in all Java programs. You can see I have a little problem here. All I have to do is just click here and it's going to fix that for me. And now I'm ready to run my program. And just like we did in the Java, we're just going to press play, except this time it's going to open what's called an Android emulator, which is going to be a program that looks like an Android device. It's going to ask us if we want to save our changes. We do. So here you can see the emulator is booting up just like a real device would. And once the emulator boots up, you see the same screen that you would on a regular phone. And here what you need to do is you need to drag the lock over to the sound icon. And then it will start up our application. And there you can see it says our time is now 10:12. So you can see how easy it is just with a few lines of code to write an Android program in the Java language. Your student will need to complete the first semester Java programming course before they take our second semester Android programming course. As an affordable option, you can buy these two courses together in our popular year pack. And this gives you a great year-long computer science elective. We now offer optional instructional videos that cover every chapter and lesson in the textbook. And this is ideal for students who learn better visually or students who may need extra reinforcement with the material. If you need any more information or if you have additional questions, please feel free to visit our website at www.homeschoolprogramming.com. We're always willing to answer questions via email as well. Thanks for watching.